Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity to the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you. Shalom. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago. I want to hop into a, a quick lesson going into Leviathan, okay? Um, just to give you a, a idea of who Leviathan is in the Bible, all right, just uh, you could um, sort of say he's a Godzilla, all right, from the movie Godzilla, that big old uh, dragon looking um creature all right that's where they got um godzilla from all right it was from the bible which his name in the bible is uh leviathan all right and uh here's a video i came across on tiktok that pretty much it popped very well may possibly be a leviathan all right because there's more than one all right and i'm pretty sure there's more than uh one type of leviathan and you got to understand, uh, I, I was watching a video earlier uh, this morning, which was talking about the uh, the ocean. Pretty much Esau only got like 5% of the ocean mapped out, the floor of the ocean. And I think the deepest he has gone was about uh, 11,000 feet. All right. So we don't we don't really know. All right. What's down there if. Esau supposedly only got 5% of the ocean mapped out. All right, so I'm going to play the video and uh, hit some scriptures. D picks up something extremely long. The creature is trying to avoid the light. So they turn the lights off. And a pair of eyes appear. Wait for it. What was that? Follow under the sea picks up something extremely long. Alright. So let's grab some scriptures. Alright, this is the book of Job 41 and 1. Alright, it reads, uh, Canst thou draw out Leviathan with the hook or his tongue with the cord which thou lettest down? The answer is no, <laughs> all right? You can't catch, it's not like he can go fishing and you're going to catch him on the hook. All right, it says, canst thou put a hook into his nose or bore his jaw through with the thorn? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant forever? All right, because, you know, Esau likes to capture animals. All right, look, look at the zoo. All right, you even got a, a ocean zoo where they got like a whole bunch of whales trapped up in cages in the ocean. All right, you could look that up. So the, you're not going to be able to capture him like a like a, a pet. It says, uh, wait, where was I at? Uh, verse five, shalt thou play with him as with a bird? Or wilt thou bind him for thy maids? Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Shall they part him among the merchants? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons or his head with fish spears? Lay thine hand upon him. Remember the battle. Do no more. It says, Behold, the hope of him is in vain. Shall not one be cast down even at the sight of him? Because there's going to come a point in time where Yahweh is going to reveal Leviathan. He's going to use him. And when, hey, when y'all see that, hey, y'all going to, people are going to be shitting on themselves. I had, a, I had a vision a while back, a few years ago, where 
I was standing on a beach, all right, and I seen like about like, shoot, I want to say over a dozen leviathons come out the ocean, but they were pretty far off in the distance, but they were huge, where they pretty much look like skyscrapers, and then the, the people uh, on the beach started running and screaming, you know, at, at the sight of him, but at the sight of them, because there was more than one, and I was just, you know, I stood on the beach, and I was praising the Lord while everybody else is running, all right, and that's what that's going to happen when you they see the sight of him, you know, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fearful. Verse 10, none is so fierce that dare stir him up. Who then is able to stand before him, before me? Who hath prevented me that I should repay him? Whosoever is under the whole heaven is mine. I will not conceal his parts, nor his power, nor his comely proportion. Who can discover the face of of his garment, or who can come to him with his double bridle? Um, verse 14, who can open the doors of his face? His teeth are terrible round about. And again, a good depiction would be uh, Godzilla. You know, when people saw Godzilla, you know, he had, he had those teeth. All right, it's going to describe more of him. His scales are his pride shut up together as with a closed seal. One is so near to the other that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They stick together that they cannot be sun sundered. And that's going into his uh, his, his scale. It's like it's, it's, it's pretty much armor. All right. And uh, when you watch the movie Godzilla, you look at Godzilla. He had those those armored scales, especially that ran across his back. All right. It says uh, by his uh, niecing, a light doth shine and his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. And when you seen the uh, in the video, when that. uh creature which i believe was a leviathan opened his eyes it looked like he had light in them all right 19 out of his mouth go burning lamps and sparks of fire leap out and again going back to the reference of godzilla what did he have uh, one of his powers is what shooting fire out of his mouth all right and it's not too far-fetched because there's a beetle all right there's a beetle on uh, Earth that literally can shoot fire, all right, from its uh, from its rear end, all right. The Lord created a beetle that's able to shoot a gas and spark at the same time to generate a, a, a blast, like a, a, a spark, sort of say, as a defense mechanism to escape. And I seen a video where the frog swallowed the uh, the beetle. And, the, and then the beetle ended up using that defense mechanism where it shot fire, all right, from its rear, because that's where it has it at, and the frog threw it up. So it's, it's not too far-fetched that uh, the Lord can create a, a, a huge creature that could shoot fire out of its mouth. Why do you think they got dragons? You know, that's what a dragon does. All right. In these movies, they portray dragons as shooting fire out of their mouth. This is, uh, let me see. Uh, 20. Out of his nostrils go with smoke and out of and out of a seam pot of cauldron. His breath kindles coals and a flame goeth out of his mouth. In his neck remaineth strength and sorrow is turned into joy before him. The flakes of his flesh are joined together. They are firmed in themselves. They cannot move. So pretty much he's he's uh, armored up. You know, his skin is so tough and his 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 uh, scales are so tight to knitly together that he's impenetrable. It says his heart is a, as firm as a stone. Yea, as hard as a piece of the netter millstone. When he riseth up himself, the mighty are afraid. If 
by reason of breaking, they purify themselves. The sword of him that layeth at him cannot hold the spear, the dart, nor the harbing harbin again. If I'm pronouncing that right. He, is, he esteemeth iron as straw and brass as rotting wood. So he uh, iron ain't nothing to him. Right, he could break through iron like like a a horse chew straw, all right, and brass as rotten wood. So pretty much he has incredible strength. It says the arrows cannot make him flee. Sling stones are turned with him into stubble. So no matter what you throw at him, there ain't nothing that you know you could do against them. Darts are counted as stubble. He laughs at the shaking of a spear sharp stones are under him he spreadeth sharp pointed things upon the mire he maketh the deep to boil like a pot he maketh the sea like a pot of ointment all right so this isn't you know part of the scriptures but you know i'm just speaking as a man i believe for the most part you know, the, the Bermuda Triangles, you got a couple of them. You got the Devil's Triangle. You got the Bermuda Triangle. You got certain areas where if you travel in there, right, your ass is just, you just disappear. You know, and I believe that that's where they dwell at. But, you know, speaking as a man, all right, um, that's why I'm going to read the next scripture uh, after this. Let me just finish this. It says, uh, let me see, 32. He maketh a, a path to shine after him. One would think the deep is too hoary. Upon the earth there is not there is not his like who is made without fear. He beholdeth all high things. He is a king over all the children of pride. All right. So Leviathan, he's uh he can't he can't he's like the, the king of the, the jungle. Sort of say for the ocean, all right. He's he's top tier, you know, the top of the food chain. But um, yeah. Let me read this next one. I believe that was a Leviathan, and not too long ago, there was a guy somewhere in the uh, north or south pole. He was somewhere, and he literally recorded the whole uh. A whole chunk of ice just break open for no reason. And then when you slowly play it back, you kind of see like a creature underneath it that was breaking up those um, those glaciers. And the guy uh, said that that wasn't a natural event, that ice doesn't break like that because it lifted up from from the ground. It like lifted up and you can kind of see a, a, a like the a, a animal that was a, a creature pushing up through the ice. All right. And you can look that one up. I think I did a sit down on that on my old channel that they deleted. But uh, this is Psalms 104, verse 26. There go the ships. There is Leviathan. Whom thou hast made to play therein. So the so Leviathan, he he plays with the ships. You know, there's a lot of uh, mythological or myths about the ocean where huge sea creatures knocking down boats uh and whatnot you know you could look up those um ancient stories all right and uh not too long ago there was a whole tank that a whole uh i think it was a submarine that pretty much got shredded into pieces all right i, I forget what a nation it was what nation submarine it was but they pretty much got destroyed by a huge creature and then a few years back i want to say about three or four years back Somewhere in the, uh, oh crap, I forget the name of the, the place they were at. Um, somewhere on the east over there, there was a, a, a huge cargo ship that went missing. And they uh, reported a mayday, all right? And they uh, reported a, a, that they were being attacked by a sea creature. And that was the last thing they heard. And the Coast Guard took about an hour to get to them. But when they reached when they reached the, the the beacon where the last known location was, there was nothing there to be seen, and they were saying a a, a whole um, cargo ship to be sunk, 
at that size would have took at least three hours and it was gone within uh, an hour. So it's nothing for uh, Leviathan to take down these ships. All right, I'm going to play this video back one more time and uh, yeah, how willing this was edifying. The creature is trying to avoid the light. So they turn the lights off and a pair of eyes appear. Wait for it. Damn. Now, just uh, just looking at it for what it is, that's a big ass head. All right. Just imagine the rest of his body and the strength. All right, so with that, Yahweh Ratzazah, this is edifying. Till next time, Shalom.